previous lessons, we talked about a PMT function. What we didn't talk about was different variations of the PMT function to do you know, slightly different things. As an example, I'd like to know not only how much I would expect in a payment on this situation, I'd also like to know how much in total interest I was paying, let's say over the life of uh, this mortgage. So to do that, you have a function called cumulative PMT and it's C-U-M-I PMT open bracket. And then we have to give it uh, different pieces of that. So the first thing is the rate. Now let's say I was gonna calculate this monthly like I did my PMT. So our rate is in cell B3, but I'm gonna divide that by 12 to get my monthly interest rate. And then N per number of, number of periods, in this case of the loan, and that was in B2, but I'm gonna times that by the number of payments per year, which is in B1. Then it asks for the present value which is the amount that you would have borrowed in this case. So that's going to be uh, B4. Then it wants to know what start period. So cumulative interest um, will be calculated from a start period to an end period. So for example, if I wanted to know the amount of interest I paid in the first year, I could put one in the start period and 12 in the end period, indicating months one to 12. If I wanted to calculate interest in my second year, so month 13 and so on, you can change the start period and end period to kind of suit your needs. In this case, I would like to calculate interest on the entire mortgage over the, the life of the mortgage based on this fixed interest rate. And that means I'm gonna start at period one, comma, and the end period would simply be the total number of payments. So that's going to be, again, B2 times the number of payments per year. Then the type is important, and the type is if you're going to pay at the end of the first period or the beginning of the first period, and this of course does make a big difference um, to calculate interest. So typically we get the mortgage and then our first payment is going to be at the end of the first month, so that would be indicated by a zero. I'm going to close the bracket, hit enter, and it calculates it. As you can see in this example, it's quite a bit of interest, that's because the term of the mortgage is over such a long period of time, and it's a pretty substantial interest rate. But this function is useful in conjunction with the PMT to determine an amount of interest paid over an amount of time. It can also be good if you're running a business and need to know you know, an amount of interest that potentially could be written off. Uh, again, we can change the formula for a start period and an end period. Let's say I just want to know the amount for the first year. So I'm going to do periods 1 to 12. You can see it calculates out the interest that would have been paid out that year. So the cumulative PMT function is a handy one. It's a financial function. You can find it on the formulas tab under the financial book. It will be there along with PMT and all the other ones. Or you can simply type it out like we did in the video today.